Welcome to Amro Music. Today we're going to learn how to clean and maintain a violin or viola. First, let's look at the case. Make sure all the flaps or latches go up and that your violin is in the bottom half of the case when you open it up. As you play your instrument, rosin collects on the strings and on the top of the instrument, and every time before you put it back in the case, you want to wipe that off. It's a good time to give the instrument a thorough cleaning when you're changing strings, though. Make sure to not mix up any of the pegs while you're changing your strings or cleaning your instrument. They are each fitted for their specific hole in the peg box. Also, if you're having any problems with your pegs slipping or not holding a tune very well, make sure to bring it in for one of our technicians to look at. Set the bridge aside and then take off the tailpiece. To remove the tailpiece, just pull the loop on the end of the tailpiece over the button at the bottom of your instrument and set that aside as well. On varnished instruments, we generally use a varnish cleaner. We do recommend testing the cleaner on a small part of the varnish of your instrument that isn't very visible before cleaning the whole instrument though. Just put a little bit on a clean polished cloth and then polish away all the rosin and other dust and dirt off the instrument. After you're done polishing the instrument, make sure you use a part of the polish cloth that doesn't have any cleaner on it and go back over the instrument polishing off the cleaner. Before putting your tailpiece back on, make sure that all of the fine tuners have been unscrewed as far as they can so you have as much room to tune with those as possible before you put the strings back on. After the instrument's polished, put the tailpiece loop back over the button and get your new strings ready to be put on. Begin by putting the ball of the string into the corresponding slot on the tailpiece, and then take the other end of the string and place it into the peg of your instrument. Then as you tighten the peg, you should make one loop outside of where the string is, and then move outward away from the center of the peg box with the rest of the string. You want to make sure that the string stays tightly wound and it looks neat and evenly wrapped. After you get the first string secure, you can set up the bridge underneath it and then continue putting on the rest of the strings. You don't have to bring the strings all the way up to tension yet. Just leave them tight enough to hold the bridge in place. The E string will generally come with a small plastic piece that is meant to go over the bridge so that small E string doesn't cut into the wood. Once you have all the strings on, make sure that your bridge is put back into the correct place. A good starting place is between the indentions on the F holes, but you should really get a technician to show you where the best placement for your specific bridge is. Now let's take a look at the bow. Before you play, you'll have to tighten the horsehairs on your bow using the adjustment screw behind the frog. Just tighten the screw clockwise until the hairs of the bow have moved about a pencil's width away from the stick. You will have to occasionally rosin your bow. If this is the first time using your bow, you may have to scrub it in quite a bit before it really starts holding on to the horse hair. But after you get the rosin worked into the hairs the first time, it doesn't take as much after that. With the hairs of the bow tightened, just flip it over and scrub the rosin into the bow. You don't want to put too much rosin on your bow because that can make a mess but if your tone is very airy and light, your bow might need some more rosin. When it's time to put it back in your case, make sure you loosen the hairs of the bow back so they don't pull out over time with the held tension. Place your bow back into the case and make sure it's secured. And then place your violin back in the case, making sure it is also secured. And then close the case, making sure to securely shut and latch everything completely so your instrument doesn't fall out. That's all for now. Have a musical day.